Yo, what's up guys? In this cool tutorial, we will learn how to make this amazing looking RGB glitch effect in After Effects. And yeah, this one is quite easy, so let's go right into it. So I just made a little composition with the text. And yeah, first of all, we will make the normal glitch effect and then add the color layers. So let's just make a new solid and apply the fractal noise effect. And we will yeah, modify this one so we can use it as a glitch map later. So let's change the noise type to block and turn down the complexity to 3. And let's also turn up the contrast to something like 400. And let's also open up the transform setting and uncheck the uniform scaling setting. So we get access to both of these settings. And let's put in a really high value in the scale wideness, so something like 800 maybe should look good just like this and yeah as you can see nothing moves so let's also animate the evolution so let's go right to the beginning of the animation and put in a keyframe in here and then let's go to the end and again put in some really high value like 50 this time and yeah now we can see this is animated quite heavily and this is exactly what we need so let's just pre-compose this layer so right click on it Pre-compose and now this is really important make sure this setting is checked so not the upper one but the middle one here and just press ok and yeah now we can actually hide this layer and let's rename this real quick just let's name this one okay and let's yeah select our glitch layer and look for the displacement map effect which is under the stored and yeah just apply it and select the yeah our one layer our glitch layer in the displacement map layer and yeah as you can see we already have a normal glitch effect and I like to turn up the horizontal displacement to 10 and keep the vertical displacement quite low at 1 just like this and yeah now we can see the glitch effect is done but we still miss these amazing looking colors so let's duplicate the glitch layer a few times so the you know the vertical noise layer so let's press Ctrl D to duplicate it once and Ctrl D again, so we have three layers in total. And let's do the same with the text layer, so let's duplicate the text layer two times, so we have three text layers. And yeah, now we have to displace the, um, the fractal noise layers a bit on the timeline, so yeah, they are not the exact same glitch displacement, so otherwise they would be exactly overlapping and we wouldn't see a difference. So just, oops, just yeah, displace them a little bit. And yeah, now let's go to our yeah, second text layer and select the second glitch layer. And let's go to the, the third text layer and select the third glitch layer. And now we can see, yeah, they are all different, but they're all white. So let's change this by looking for a fill effect in the effects tab and just applying it to one of the upper glitch layers. And yeah, now we have a red layer. Let's go to the yeah, another glitch layer and put in a fill again and make the color something bluish, just like this. And yeah, now you can see they are like completely on top of each other, but we want them to mix a bit on the edges. And this one is super simple. Just make sure you have to uh, you have this mode selected, so you can just press the setting and we have to access the yeah the blend mode. And let's just change the blend mode of the upper two text layers to um, color dutch. And now as you can see, yeah, we already have this amazing result. And I think this looks really cool. Of course, you are free to play around with a lot of these settings, like the yeah, the displacement map values. So maybe you want the yeah the color layers to have a more strong glitch, so you can put in a higher layer, a uh, higher value in these. But yeah, this is completely up to you and yeah, thanks for watching and see you next time.